John Penrose. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And we've already heard how the coronavirus crisis has fundamentally changed our economy and is in the process of changing our society too. And we've also already heard how the bill makes changes to important items like entrepreneurs relief. And as someone who co-founded and ran two software startups myself before I was elected to parliament, I'm a huge advocate of encouraging wealth creators, particularly the ones who are at the technological leading edge and maybe creating the fourth industrial revolution jobs in Britain in companies and industries that have hardly been invented yet. But we have to be fair in the process. And the coronavirus lockdown has revealed an uncomfortable truth. It's turned Britain into a two nation society where better paid white collar professionals work from home while often less well off key workers keep traveling to work often on crowded public transport in riskier jobs where they have to wear PPE. Now, of course, the lockdown is temporary, but it has shone a spotlight onto a more long-term structural problem, even so. Those less well-off key workers are paying a much higher overall tax rate, the marginal effective tax rate or meter, than the safer, better off white collar professionals, because tax rates on investment income are lower than on wages and salaries, and because benefits withdrawal rates only apply to low income households. The combined effect often means that low income key workers pay a marginal effective tax rate of up to 75%, while better off people pay dramatically lower rates. The haves are being subsidized by the have nots. So if we are all in this together, if we are to go down in history as acting in the Conservative Party's best and finest traditions, how can we ignore this? How can we not act? It cannot be right. And the changes to entrepreneurs' relief are a small but extremely welcome step in the right direction. But I hope the Chancellor will use the clarity and the challenge of the coronavirus crisis to make it the first step in a much longer journey. One that says we need to encourage wealth creators, but they shouldn't pay lower tax rates than the people who clean their offices or who drive the trucks that deliver their goods. If we believe that rates of tax much above 40% will undermine incentive to work for high earners, as I and many others do very strongly, why isn't the same thing true for someone on the national living wage as well? The last time Britain taxed earned and investment income equally was under a Conservative government when Nigel Lawson was Chancellor. If we can go back to taxing all income the same, whether it comes from benefits, from work or from wealth, it would be transformational. It will show that we are serious about helping the people who voted Conservatives in their tens and hundreds of thousands, some of them for the first time ever in the general election last year. It will create clearer and stronger work incentives for everybody, not just for the rich. It will make our economy work better by allowing investment to flow to wherever it can be used best without distortions in the tax system. And it will make taxes simpler and harder to dodge. It will reduce in work poverty because less well-off families will keep more of any extra money they earned. And as we come out of the coronavirus crisis, it would prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that conservatives really mean it when we say we're all in this together. So changing entrepreneurs relief is a good, sensible, conservative idea. But it's only a start. The Chancellor has taken the first step. Madam Deputy Speaker, I hope we will all go with him on a much longer and more important journey. Thank you.